Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Adobe. This is the Firefly, but in particular, this is Firefly Image 2. It is in beta, and Adobe has made a whole bunch of changes to their models, and I'm going to be honest, they're really, really great so far. And let me show you something here. You get a whole bunch of free credits. So you'll see here that in this account here, I am not logged in with my main account. I'm just logged in with a regular account, and if I click on it, it's free. So there's just that. This is a free account, so I've got a free plan here. So you'll get a whole bunch of credits. Now let me show you what we can do here while I've got you. So here it is. Here's an example. So here's where you type your prompt. If you've used Adobe Firefly 1, the first set, it's very, very similar. However, there's a bunch of new changes. In particular, you can do a comparison with Firefly Beta 1. So I'm going to click here, and you're going to see here that I can switch between Firefly Image 1 and Firefly Image 2 Beta. These, of course, create better, pro uh, better quality images. It says improved text alignment, better style and support, etc., etc. And here's an example. The giant magical French bulldog god of the forest. All right, something silly like this. I click on it. Look at this. This is fantastic. I mean, honestly, all of these are wonderful. That's pretty good. That one's pretty good. But this one, I mean, I just love this one. And this one here, it's got a little bit more of a glow to it. Fantastic. You can, of course, change the aspect ratio. And here's what I really like. You can switch easily between the type of content. So if you want a photo style versus the art style, it's easy to do. And then let's dig in a little further here. There are 103 or 105, pardon me, current effects that you can choose from and you can combine them. So let me show you here. I just clicked on effects. Watch this. When I click on all, look at this. It's got all the different movements and it's got visual representations of those movements. That's why this is so great. So if I wanted to say make this 3D or anime or comic book or concept art, it just goes on and on and on. And then you have all these different techniques, these different effects, antique photos, dark, fisheye, iridescent. I mean, it's just amazing, and you get a visual look at it. So honestly, this is this is fantastic. Uh, let's take a look at some other things here. Um, let's take a look at another option here. I created this one here. This is just a default one. Actually, I picked somebody else's. I already came up with this prompt, and then I just ran with it. Cute 3D elephant toy with gold filigree on the floor of a child's room. Look at this. This is just amazing. It's doing 3D amazing like this is just absolutely crazy and you know what the best thing is you can even use your own image so let's go ahead and switch over to my paid account over here and let's go ahead and do some stuff from scratch so let me show you how it works so I'm gonna click on text to image and then I'm just gonna go ahead and well let's just click on okay I gotta accept this down here sure now I'm gonna go uh, French Bulldog sitting on a throne like oops like a royal, uh, like a king from the 15th century. Whatever, something silly like that. This is going to go ahead and it's going to cook something up for me. Also, while it cooks, I'm going to click up here over here and you'll see here that this plan includes generative credits. And right now, they're currently unlimited if you have a paid account. On November 1st, I believe, they're going to come up with some sort of system where they are going to limit them. So here we go. This is the default. You'll see that it's selected art. If I wanted to switch to photo, I can go ahead and rerun it. Also, while it does that, you'll notice here that we've got visual intensity and strength. You can test these, but you can go ahead and move them up and down. Uh, intensity is the overall intensity of your photos. What the heck did that say? Uh, existing visual characteristics. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at how great that is. Now, so you can adjust these. I like the settings as is. You can also adjust the strength, which is the style matching the effects with a single control. Again, they're not very well described and explained, in my opinion, so you got to basically test them. But look at this. Matching reference images or uploading your own image where it does a reference match. So watch this. I'm going to upload my own image. I'm just going to click on this here. I'm going to go to my desktop. I've got a French-English Bulldog mix here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on through. And now watch this. And he, this is when he got his uh, <laughs> he got his lips stuck on his tuffers because he was going in and getting his tuffies fixed. So here we go. Now I've selected a reference image. And now watch this. I'm going to click on Generate. And it's going to cook this up. But take a look at how good this is because I'm going to show you the reference image 
uh, up close so you'll see how good this is compared to what I've uploaded versus what it creates. Like, I mean, this is just, I mean, fantastic. Look, okay, well, let's take a look at the reference image. I'm going to go to my finder. I'm going to go to my desktop. Here's the image I uploaded. This is my boy Kingston, and this is when he was going to go get his toughies looked at. And yeah, he's an older boy, and he's got some, uh, he was going in to see the dentist, so to speak. But he's beautiful, and he's got this cool white stripe in between his, his, um, in his eyes, above, onto his head there. Look at these reference images that it created. How good is that? It's got the white stripe correctly. It's identified him as an older dog. So you can see here that it's got some of the gray hairs in there. I mean, this is just crazy. Now, if we go down a little further, of course, we can apply all those effects that I showed you earlier, and there are tons of them. But if you're into the photography side of things, look at this. It's got these are it's got all the different colors. So if you want it black and white, you want to have some sort of Toned images, warm tone, it's got filters in there, photo filters particularly. It gets better. Lighting is in here, backlighting, dramatic lighting, golden hour, harsh light, long time exposure, low lighting, multi-exposure, studio light. Like It's got so many things that you can just select on. And of course, it's got a visual little thumbnail. And then again, this is even probably the best one, is you can select the shot. So this is just a standard shot. But if I wanted like a close-up or if I wanted a photograph through a window, this is pretty wild. Watch this. This is just one of many. But it's just crazy the amount of awesomeness that they have come up with. And again, if you are using this, you get free credits to start with. So it's not a free program necessarily, but you get some free credits. So what did we got here? We got photograph through a window. Okay, so... Maybe there's my boy and he's sort of stuck behind a window. It's not super believable, but it's not bad. This one's not too bad, although his eye's a little funny there. But, I mean, there's just so many different options in here. You can adjust the aperture, shutter speed, field of view, and you can even do exclusions. Like, honestly, this is one of the best updates, in my opinion, for Adobe in quite a while. They're really on a roll, guys. They've got their AI game. They're bringing it, and just a big fan. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.